do you not like me? I do not know if you do. I do not know what you feel for me. It is getting tiresome, your sneaking in here every night like a thief. Makes me feel cheap. As Hermes once took to his feathers light, when lulled Argus baffled, swooned, and slept, so on a Delphic reed my idle sprite so played. Basil? So... Where have you been all evening? Out on a walk, sir. You go back to Oxford in a week's time. I want you to spend what time you have left with us. There will be no more solitary promenades. Do you understand, Basil? While on that subject, sir. I do not want to go back to Oxford this term. I would like to spend more time here in London, sir. You will leave for Oxford in a week's time, as planned, Basil. There is no more to be said. What is it you have to say? Say it quickly. My father will be coming back any minute. I return to Oxford next week. We cannot see each other until I come back to London for Christmas. I will miss you. Will you promise me to not receive any other suitor in my absence? What right do you have to ask me that? A few kisses and you think you own me. I know your sort. You'll use me as a plaything and then run off and marry some milk-faced miss from one of the best families. No, that is not true. I am not like that. Go away! I shall do as I please. That is my father's carriage coming down the lane. Go. Talk to you. All right, come with me. Do not want to lose Julia. Do not have her, my friend, to lose her. Then I must have her. How do you propose to have her? By proposing marriage. Marriage? Yes, why not? <laughs> That's too rash a step, Basil, for it's a permanent one. <clears throat> yours is a passing fancy for a girl who has piqued your curiosity, but once she's yours and wholly familiar... Then I will love her all the more. I cannot live without her, John. But you will, and you must. Only a love that can let you live with or without it can endure. How do you know? She's the first image in my mind when I rise and the last when I go to sleep. She fills my waking hours, nor are my dreams free from her. There is but one thought in my head, one theme to my life. Have you felt this way about anyone? Do not presume to know more about me than you do. Listen to me. Forget Julia Sherwin and flee, Basil. Flee? Where? Those whom I have loved have fled me. My father, 
He took me away from my mother's bedside during her last moments. He sent Ralph away and has kept us, brothers, apart for all these years. For long, I feared loving anyone for fear he would come like a, like a praying falcon and take them away. Now I must face that fear and face him. I will not let him come between Julia and me. I... I remember this moment, my friend. When I told you to flee and you would not. How may I help you now? Can you arrange for me to speak to her father? Your wish is my command, the djinn said to Aladdin. So. You wish to marry my little Julia. How strange. Flattering. But strange, nevertheless. Why do you wish to wed her? I told you. I love her. But you hardly know her. Unless you've been meeting her on the sly. John had nothing to do with it. I, I met her a few times on my own. We're all grown men here, Master Basil. Please speak the truth. You've not violated her, have you? No. Of course not. What did your good father say, Master Basil? I told you, didn't I, that I saw him once in a grand carriage on his way to the Parliament. Yes, you did, several times, and no, my good father knows nothing of this. And how do you propose to marry Julia without your father's knowledge? I am of age, so is she. That may be true, but your father will not accept this marriage. Which is why you want to marry my child without your father's knowledge. And how do you propose to support her? And your children? There will be children. They come quick in cases of youthful zest such as yours. You vastly underestimate your father, Master Basil. He will make sure nobody has anything to do with you. You will be cut off from all decent folk without employment or funds. Is that the life you propose for my only child? The life of an outcast? Still, all the world loves a lover. And I want you to have what you want. At what age do you inherit your share of the family fortune, Master Basil? In three months when I turn 21. Well, what exactly do you inherit? The sum of 30,000 pounds and Windermere Hall. The rest of the estate will be bequeathed to me upon my father's passing, if he so desires. Oh, 30,000 pounds in Windermere Hall should do fine for you and Julia. Julia can be a very charming girl when she puts her mind to it. The two of you will make him come round, and before he passes on, he will leave you the rest of the estate, mark my words. But 30,000 pounds in Windermere Hall is not bad to start off with. Not bad at all. I would like you to marry Julia straight away. We cannot let your good father hear of it, or he will cut you off from your inheritance immediately. Until you turn 21, the marriage must be a secret. Julia will continue to live here, and you will live with your father. By the way, you are welcome to visit Julia here, but your visits will be chaste, not the visits a husband pays his wife. You understand? Nothing sets tongues wagging quicker than an unwed girl swelling. And your visits will be strictly supervised. Still, three months is not unendurable. Hmm? Those are my terms. Take them or leave them. Your choice. I take them, Mr. Sherwin, as you well know. I have no choice. The day of my wedding, I felt my mother's presence close to me. I heard the rustle of her skirts. I felt the touch of her hands. I even fancied I heard her calling to me. But her voice seemed to recede when I strained for it.